want to watch the game show, we'll turn the TV on inside our own place. My mama says she's gonna call the police on your sister, Joanna. You listening, Joanna? Miss Beauty, you listening? Miss Beauty, you better tell the Joanna. Miss Beauty, you better I think you left your book on the street last night, Giselle. Take that come out your mouth when you're talking to your sister. Which does not have a one dollar bill and it has a five hundred dollar bill. Another beautiful wallet, but that's not the one either. What are we Giselle, doing that girl, girl, you can't be watching that baby if you're watching television. Particular time. And what you have to keep the plane up so loud. I can hear it, Mama. Everybody else in the building can hear it too. Now the landlord is just looking for a reason to throw us out of here. Oh, this dump ain't worth staying in no house. Now, if you don't watch Bubba and let me. Now, Joanna, fold them clothes right. Don't just throw them up there on that shelf like that. If you don't watch Bubba, let me get to work. We ain't gonna even have to eat much. Oh, just about. Please get that boy back his airplane. Here. You let Joanna stay here by herself sometime and watch that child. I could be out in the street earning some money so we could live proper for a change. The last time you was out on the street, Miss Lady, you got a year of corrections. Ain't nobody gonna give you no decent job now. You call cleaning somebody's house a decent job? Got my own ideas. Oh, let's look what you made me do. That's right, blame it on me like you do everything else. Well, she just not wear it, Mama. Joanna, just get me a safety pin, please. You the only lady on the block that wears a hat to work anyway. It's old-timey. Ain't nothing old-timey about dressing respectable. Now, Duvel, you mind that baby. And don't you be hanging around here all day dreaming. You got a whole lot of reading to catch up on before school starts up again. And pay attention to Duvel here. Bubba! Yeah, that's Mama's boy. attention to that sink full of dishes. Mama be mad she find out she's going out again, Giselle. Well, only one way she's going to find out. And if she does, Joanna Peabody going to be up to her ears in Miss Duval. I will be back directly. Your sister's a fool. Go watch the TV, Bubba. People always yelling at me. Joanna Peabody, wash the dishes. Joanna Peabody, watch Bubba. Joanna Peabody, take that gum out your mouth. Joanna Peabody, do this. Joanna Peabody, do that. Joanna Peabody. Joanna Peabody. Man, I say turn around. to give nobody nothing free of charge. You gotta go, because I ain't supposed to let nobody in. <sighs> I rub up all this high-voltage power 
to come in on your TV set. And you say, ain't supposed to let nobody in. Don't you want me to watch over you? I don't need nobody watching over me. Mama and Duval doing just fine watching over me. Mm-hmm. They is. Mm-hmm. They is, I say. Mr. Duval, I ain't got all day to bake a cake with you. Don't you want to hear what I've got to say? Won't cost nothing. We ain't got but a few pennies in the Crisco can. Won't cost a cent. <clears throat> Your name was pulled out of the hat for the seven wish sweepstakes this month. Ain't that nice? And since I'm your official special spirit, I'm the one to deliver your wishes. Well, la di da, ain't that something? Don't believe me, do you? I'm gonna change the channel. <laughs> Anything you want? Now, the only thing you can't wish for is more wishes. I won't get no bill in the mail. No coupon books, no carrying charges, no layaway. I give you your wishes free. Try me. Shine my shoes. <laughs> You should keep your mouth shut for this whole entire day. <laughs> Wish them dishes were done. <laughs> You won't wait no more. Shoo. Take it or leave it. How do you do all that stuff? I told you. I'm your official wish spirit. Come from the special wish place. Now you and I have got to get together on your other wishes. Because I've got about a thousand other children to take care of. And I don't get around to them the way I used to when I was young. My knees ain't what they used to be. I got me a touch of that lumbago. And how you doing, Bubba? If you can do the dishes, how come you can't fix up your knees? It don't work that way, honey. I didn't do them dishes for me. I did them for you. Wishes is strictly for the sweet snakes, children. You mean you can't do nothing to help yourself? That's what I mean. Tell you, Joanna, wishes is considered personal and confidential, just between you and me. One word, and they're all gone. Then I tell you, open that door, Joanna. Oh, well, at least you got the dishes done. Don't you watch my TV, Baba? So they both oh, that's nice. Well and they dissolve their partnership in fine style. Kathy, invite her over to sit in your living room. Virginia, take her for a ride on your desk. And Kathy Williams, we're going to open up a whole path here so that you can see what's back of that curtain. And when we do, it'll be something for the indoor That boy ain't never been so quiet in all his life. Joanna, hey Joanna, are you home? What's the matter? Ain't you talking to nobody no more? I'm thinking, most of June. Why you want to do that? I heard something about your landlord. He said he's going to put you at your place the first chance he gets. I can make that old landlord go away any time I want. You wish you could. I could. You think you're the big bug on the wall, don't you? I know what I know. You wish you did. I do. You wish you had a new dress like mine instead of that raggedy old thing you got on. I could have a whole store full of dresses. Mama, 
mom buys me anything I want. She's always clucking and fussing over me. La dee da. Miss Hine, mighty thing. Miss Blimp, I ain't no blimp. Say what you want. Why is Bubba so quiet? You two been teasing him again? Now, after working hard all day, I am not about to put up with no foolishness at home. That girl has been nothing but Miss Contrary all day. Now, didn't I tell you to mind DeVille? She got to be here for me to mind. She what? And I don't like minding her no way. She ain't my mother. Well, I am. And that's the only way we're going to keep this place from falling apart. Lord, you two done made me forget the one good thing that happened today. Now, tell me I don't think about you. Look, Joanna, I'ma got you some new clothes. These ain't new. Well, they almost all I got to do almost is just have that. Ain't new. It's second hand. All I ever get is second hand. Oh, Joanna, you would never know that this nice blouse was second hand unless I told you. It ain't my style. Well, maybe all Mama got to do is just take it in a little bit and I then... won't wear it. Ooh, I told you, Miss Contrary. That's right. Make it worse, right, Duval? Joanna, listen, baby. All Mama got to do is just fix that up a little bit. No. Amosa June's mother buy her all the new clothes she wants. Amosa June's mother better get her something funny looking at she is. Amosa June's mother said that the pocketbook you carry is second hand, because the straps held don't buy safety pins. Turn that flame down from under that pot, Duval. I don't want that rice getting pasty. Mama, what I meant was... I know what you meant. Hey, Aunt Thelma, where are you? Ain't nobody here now. Come on, Aunt Thelma, what's your channel? Ain't nobody here but Bubba, and he ain't made a sound all day. And I ain't told nobody about you being here. Come on, Aunt Thelma, tune in. Just because you got your own special wish spirit, Joanna Peabody, doesn't mean you're the only star at this party. My job keeps me moving. Like me, a little boy who in Kansas City wants to be king of the world. Been all morning trying to talk that notion out of his head. Can he be king of the world if he wants to? Sure he can. And I've got to give him what he wants. But he ain't got sense enough to be king of the world. Talked him into being king of the block instead. Can I have my number four wish now? Excuse me, Joanna, but I can hardly see you. Bubba, remember what happened to you last time. There, that's better. Okay, what is it? Clothes, Aunt Thelma. Pretty clothes. Use your official wish language, and you got it. I, Joanna Peabody, want a ton of pretty clothes. You little hypocrite. You done ripped off every store in town. All the time you up here acting like little Miss Mary Pure. Put an arm a flea. I bet they all your size, too. I didn't steal nothing to sell. How did you go around thieving like common little monkey trash? I didn't steal nothing to sell. Come on, man. You're in Bubba. Quit your life. You can steal her. Oh, no. I ain't neither. Oh, my God. Oh, she ain't Miss Mary Pure. She's Miss Ripper.
whether you want to share the money that I just gave you. Talk it over, partners. Have a long chat. Get argue. Fight. Do something. Come to an Devout, agreement. Now turn that thing off. But tell me what you want to do. Now. Enough money, and I thought that's what you were going to do. So you're going to divide the. And take that, take that boy out of here. My friend, I'm a bookworm. A bookworm? What's a bookworm? A bookworm, my friend, is a worm who loves to read books. Come away from that window, child. You might catch cold. How come you do me like that? Do you like what? How come you let me wish for all those clothes anyway? You said you spent a whole day talking that kid from Kansas out of wishing to be king of the world, but you don't even spend one minute talking me out of wishing for all those clothes. You're supposed to be watching over me. And, and now I'm in the doghouse of Mama. And that low down Duvel brought the police on me. I wish you would drop. Careful, child. You've got a way of getting what you ask for. Sometimes it don't do so good to use all your wishes on yourself. You gotta think of what other folks are gonna do. How they gonna feel. Now, anything you really want me to do this morning, other than make Duval drop, you know what? You got three more wishes to go. Sure would like to get out of the doghouse with Mama. It's gonna take something big to make that happen. Yeah. But I can do it, can I? I can wish for something to put her in a good mood. <laughs> Whatever it is, you've got to hurry up. Because time is going. <laughs> Maybe I wish this old apartment be fixed up for Mama. Now that sounds fine and dandy. Sure would make her happier. And probably take the land all off her back. Might even take some of the spit out of that low down gazelle. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Wish number five. I, Joanna Peabody, wish this old apartment be fixed up for Mama. Redecoration, rejuvenation, big set. This may take a little jolt. Ready now, Aunt Thelma. Aunt Thelma? Aunt Thelma? Where are you going? You experiencing a difficulty? Joanna, now didn't I tell you not to have nobody in this house when I'm not home? Ain't nobody here but me, Mama. Well, who are you talking to then? Jipped out of my wish. Can't trust anybody anymore. Huh? Nothing. Dog can't even get no peace and quiet here. <clears throat> yes? Ah, uh, is this the Peabody residence? That's right. Well, you just won the big prize. You mean the church rapper? That's the one! Come on, man! Don't <laughs>
all over everything now, monkey. You hear? How's it going, girl? I wish that old Duval would get out of here for good. That's a little hard on her, isn't it? You think you're the only one needs someone to take care of her? Well, then let her find a good man. Let her get married and leave me alone. Is that wish number six? Yeah, that's it. I, Joanna Peabody, let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> just like new apartment in the bargain. Mm -mm. I'm feeling good, Joanna. Why don't you go inside and relax? Put up your feet. I mind, Bubba. You know, I think I'll do just that. Girl, I'm feeling good as a bride myself. Joanna Peabody, you are one expert wisher. But you only got one wish left. Your last wish? Yeah. Let's hear it. Things still were busy for you at that special spirit place. You want a Peabody? You're putting salt and molasses in my clock? Now, are you going to wish or what? Because I got about a thousand. Anybody other... wish anything especially interesting this week, Aunt Thelma? You want a Peabody? I can't be waiting around here another minute for you. If I don't get my work done, they're going to cancel my series. Now, you've got one more wish coming. When you know what you want, Call me. Where are you going? Walking. Can I walk with you? I'd rather be alone. Listen, Mother Drew, if you had one wish, what would you wish for? Why? I'm wondering. Why should I tell you? You don't have to. I'd wish for more wishing. Can't. Can't wish for more wishing? No. I'd wish for me one of those old-timey sedan chairs so people could carry me around. I'd sit up there as proud as could be, saying, take me to the supermarket, turn right at the bakery, take a left to the candy store. I'd never have to walk no place again. That way, it won't matter none when my legs start to hurt and when I get old, because people be carting me around everywhere I want to go anyway. I got it. I thought at first it's my wish. That's OK, Mosa June, because you just gave me a better idea. Thanks a lot, Mosa June. You're my best friend. I am? You got Bubba off to bed all right? Yeah, he's sound asleep. I will be, too, in a minute. <laughs> Ooh, yes, indeed. Uh, yes, indeed. Sweet dreams, little girl. You've been good as gold. Mm. Night, baby. Good night.
got your wish ready? Yes. Let's have it. Oh, Joanna, darling, it's not supposed to go that way. Do I have a wish coming or do I have a wish coming? Are you really serious? Yeah, well, listen. Duval was mean as she can be until Frank came along and Mama was sad and tired. And now she's walking around here light as a cricket. Seems my wishes come out best for me when I'm wishing for somebody else. So don't even try to talk me out of this one. Oh, Joanna, nobody ever wished for me before. <laughs> wishing my knees get better. Okay, darling, here goes. <laughs> Looking for a wish, Joanna? No, thanks, Mr. June. I have everything I need already. 